name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, God. A wonderful, glorious welcome to all of you, and especially to our very special birthday lady this morning. We are all here to thank God for your life and for the choice to be here. So welcome, Marie. Let's welcome her. <laughs> welcome to all the visitors, Marie's family, from different places, and all the different visitors. You're all very, very welcome, and probably you, who's from the South African Catholic Conference. We welcome Paul Hugh as well, who's very well known in Cape Town with education and all that. So you're all very, very welcome today. We come, sorry, more coming in. Take your seat here. Anybody else? Are you on your own? No, they're all here. Okay, okay. And you're welcome again to all of you. And let us now pause and be in the presence of the Lord. And let us acknowledge that we're a sinful people, we're a joyful people, but we also are very human and we fail very often. <coughs> so we acknowledge that we're a sinful people, even though we're a beautiful people. And God's mercy and God's love and forgiveness is always with us. So let's call to mind now our sins and our failures. God, 
to inspire and bring to fulfillment every good intention. Direct your servants into the way of eternal salvation, and as they have left all things to devote themselves entirely to you, grant that following Christ and renouncing the things of this world, they may faithfully serve you and their neighbor in a spirit of poverty and in humility of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Sister Mervade will proclaim the first reading for us today. to the Lord. And fear comes to us in our weakness. For we cannot choose good in order to fear suffering. We fear from Satan and great disaster. And uh, he will make what he will do to be good. And God will bring anything to our heart. Don't let it be
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to the Lord. The Lord be with you. Whoever remains in me, and me in him, bears fruit in plenty. For cut off from me, you can do nothing. Anyone who does not remain in me is like a branch that has been thrown away and is withered. These branches are collected and thrown on the fire, and they are burnt. If you remain in me, words remain in you. You may ask what you will, and you will get it. It is to the glory of my Father that you should bear much fruit, and then you will be my disciples. This is my commandment. Love one another as I have loved you. You did not choose me, but I chose you. I commissioned you to go out and bear fruit, fruit that will last, and then the Father will give you anything you ask in my name. What I command you is to love one another. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. word gathering echoes very much in my heart and in my mind today. And gathering is a word that is really at the heart of Christian worship. We gather for prayer, we gather for worship, we gather to break open the word of God, we gather for the Eucharist today, and we gather around a common table. We can describe all these activities in different ways, but the word celebrate is probably the best word to use today. Celebrate. We gather to celebrate. Catholics like to celebrate. We celebrate the sacraments. We celebrate <coughs> jubilees. We celebrate professions. We celebrate ordinations, we celebrate comings and goings, and we celebrate birthdays. And today we are celebrating the hundredth birthday of our beloved sister Marie. In all my years of priesthood, and I'm around a long time, this is a first for me. I've never celebrated before a hundredth birthday in Mass. So, Maraid, thank you for this wonderful occasion for all of us to celebrate a hundredth birthday, especially with the Eucharist. We are celebrating, first of all, the faith that Maraid found in her own home so long ago back in Ireland. We are celebrating her call to religious life and specifically her call to the Dominican Sisterhood. We are celebrating her call to mission and celebrating all the witness and all the work that she has done over all these years to build up the kingdom of God in all the various places that she lived in and that she ministered in. But most important of all, we are celebrating the person we are celebrating the woman whom we all know as Sister Marie. A little while ago, I had a very good chat with Marie, and I asked her what motivated her to join the Dominican Sisters. This is my first question. And her sec my second question was, how come you came to South Africa? So she told me she was thinking of joining the Columban Sisters. Never heard of them. But anyway, I heard of, uh, of the Columban Fathers. 
she told me that her brother, Joseph Hanan, was a priest back in Ireland in Belgian power. But then her sister Nora was a Dominican sister, known as Sister Cassidy. <coughs> and apparently she had the final influence over Rose. And shortly after joining the Dominican sisterhood, she volunteered for South Africa. Then long ago, she left a long boat trip from Europe to South Africa, no planes in those days. And Marie was finally professed in Stellenbosch. And so Stellenbosch features very much in Marie's life. And she shared with me her joyful years that she spent in Kirkwood, in Marymount, in our diocese, in Ida's Valley, in Swaziland and all the different places that she lived and ministered as a sister. And I asked her another question. What was the highlight of her life as a sister? And she talked me to and we went to these areas. So Marie, what was the highlight of your life as a sister? And she replied, my final profession. This was the highlight of her life. My final profession and weight community life. The highlight of my life was my final profession and community life. And I found, she said, real joy and happiness in every community that I've lived in. And she said the same here at the priory. I have loved community life. This has been the highlight of my life. And she's a great community person. And this is what religious life is all about. I'm a diocesan priest. I'm not a religious order priest. But religious order, sisterhood and priesthood who are in community, community is number one. That's why you join the sisterhood. And she made that very clear to me, that this was the highlight of her life wherever she lived in the various communities and the same here in the Priory, she has loved the community she belongs to and they love her and it's a real joy for her. And then I asked her after that, what was the greatest sadness of your life? And she said, the death of my mother on the 21st of December. A terrible Christmas no going home. Remember, it was only after Vatican II that the Irish Dominicans were allowed to go back to visit their families in Ireland. So they had left for good. I mean, the sisters made a big sacrifice, but I think their parents made even a bigger sacrifice. Imagine a mother saying goodbye to her daughter who's age 17 and will never see her again. So, Lots of sacrifice had gone in to religious life and to the sisterhood and to their communities. Lots of lovely stories have emerged about when the sisters first went back to visit their families. They allowed the elder sisters to go first. The younger ones can hang on. The <laughs> elder ones were first allowed to go. And you know, there was this particular Dominican sister, she was in contact with her nephew, sharing photographs and that kind of post office work and letters and everything else. Anyway, she arrived in Dublin and she met her nephew and off they went, had a great reunion. And after half an hour in the car, they realized that she wasn't the aunt at all. <laughs> she was their own family. <laughs> so the car would turn around and go back again and try and find the real end. But this is all part of the story of the sacrifice of the Dominican sisters who came to South Africa. Unbelievable. I first met Marie in 1970. I was a young priest in Addo at that time in 1970 years ago. I first met Maraid in Kirkwood in 1970. That was 54 years ago that I met Maraid for the first time. 
Then she was a flaming redhead. <laughs> now she's a little bit white hair. And that was after Vatican II, so they were showing their hair again, you know? They didn't show their hair before Vatican II, which is very proud they showed off her flaming red hair. And that was 54 years ago. And she was greatly loved. And she had a huge influence on all the girls at St. Collins Little School in Britain. And I will share with you now a message from the girls of those years who knew Mairead so well and who loved her so much in St. Collins Hill School. This is a compilation of the thoughts of many of her past pupils combined from those years into one sharing. And I will share it with you now. And the sharing goes, in great love we think of you as a member of that special group of women who formed us who nurtured us and who walked with us through sometimes confusing and troubled teenage years. As safe and protected as we felt during those high school years, you made us conscious of the realities of a world that we would have to face outside the walls of our beloved St. Collins Hills. Sister Marie, you were our standard seven, grade nine class teacher. And we were fortunate to be able to start the school day with the word of God. Many a morning, some of us would picture ourselves wearing those impressive rosary beads, white habit, and black veil. All too soon it passed when we became engrossed in a romantic novel and dreamed of knights in shining armor. So many of us settled with the blow for the beat of car. <laughs> These were all the joys of growing up at St. Colin Hills in Burford. During Mass, I was struck and inspired by Sister's demeanor when she returned to the pew after having received Holy Communion, and a deep longing grew within me to have a genuine relationship with the Lord. I remember fondly the reverence in which you approached the altar before and after Mass. Later in life, and influenced by that, I found deep joy and ministry in being a sacristan in my parish. I wrote a school essay, and you decided to read it to the whole class. The topic was scripture, which in my very limited opinion back then was the most beautiful place in the world. God displayed his artistry by magnificent sunsets behind the blue-purple mountains, rows and rows of jack o -lantern the smell of orange blossoms in the air, and the gentle flow of the Sunday's river through the canal that passed at St. Colin's Hill School. You realized the memory of Kirkwood would be forever treasured in my heart and soul. On the occasion of your 100th birthday, may the love of all of us wrap you in a blanket of a warm May we thank you for answering the call to praise, to bless, to preach, because by that we have all been blessed. May God continue to bless you, dear Sister Marie, and thank you, Cheryl Adams, St. Colin Hills, 1971 to 1975. So we say thank you to Marie. Today, for all of us here in the Friday community, it is a huge milestone in the history of the Friday. We rejoice with you, Marie, and we rejoice with the community here. And may you feel the love and the gratitude of so many today. 
all of us present here and many, many more discovered all over the country and beyond remember you today with great love. So all I can say is may God bless you richly today, Marie, and in the days and the years ahead. You are in the hands of God. You have our love and you have our congratulations. We will celebrate indeed and thank God for the great gift that you still are to the Dominican family and to the church community and to our diocese. Thank you, Marie, for being the wonderful person you are and for the ministry you've shared all these years with all of us. So for a moment now in silence, let each of us in our own hearts bring Sister Marie to the Lord in prayer, and then we will share a prayer, and then that's open to everybody who would like to share a prayer. prayers of intercession. Heavenly Father, your love for all of us is total. You love us every day, every moment of every day, and we now bring all our needs to you, and we know that you will hear us and answer our prayers. Please be free now to offer your prayers to God. Over the past hundred years, there have been many world events we have never experienced. Yet, amidst the turmoil of disaster, Marais heard God's invitation, Come, follow me, which he has done for over 70 years. Loving and gracious God, we beg you to shower rainbow blessings of love, peace, joy on Marais as she once more hears you say, Come and see what I have in store for you. Amen. Lord, grace be with us. We pray for the Dominican family all over the world, women and men who belong to the Dominican family. May the Lord bless them greatly today as we celebrate Marie's 100th birthday. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Heavenly Father, we, your children, return thanksgiving to you today in this special celebration and in this night. We ask your blessing and we ask your love to be poured over all of us this day as we gather in the name of your beloved Son, Jesus Christ our Lord.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty God. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and the glory of his Sanctify, we pray, O Lord, through these holy things we offer you, the servants you have gathered in your name, so that faithfully fulfilling their vows to you, they may serve your majesty in sincerity of heart, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence, by which you call human nature back to its original holiness, and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promise in the new world to come. And so, with all the angels and saints, we praise you, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving the 
his holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, on the ordination of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May you make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance of your elect, especially his most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and Joseph the Spouse, your blessed Apostles and glorious Martyrs, Saints Dominic and Catherine, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, to your servant Francis our Pope, Vincent our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, all who are pleased with you at their passing from this life, give time admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow the world all. That is yours. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. to the Father, through Jesus, thanking our Father for his love and care and for all he does for us every day in our lives. And so we pray now the words Jesus gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord to Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant a peace and unity in accordance with your will to live and reign forever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us share the Lord's peace among us. Peace be with you. eternal life to us who receive it. Lamb of God, we take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, we take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, we take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. 
blessing of those called to the suffer of the Lamb. May the body of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Safe for eternal life. Having received the Lord in the Eucharist, let us now for a few moments in silence communicate with the Lord.
christen myself, and then we heard that you were going to turn a hundred. Remember, I said I would come to your hundred, and I've been trying to get all sorts of plans in line that haven't always worked, but I eventually the commitment to come was there. So thank you very much for having this event, for having us here. Um, and for your commitment to education. And we know that we want to keep that commitment to education going. And I think on behalf of the future of education, we are very grateful to the decisions that the Dominican sisters have made over the years at chapter, beautiful couple, maybe we can get invited to a chapter, <laughs> but the decision that they made about the future of their school and their continued commitment to education and to the well-being of the children that are in our school. Um, this little congregation has pioneered really and pushed around child safeguarding. In those years when I was kind of retrenched from the diocese and my work as Kathy, and um, we had many an argument about how it could be implemented. And it's been great fun when I came up to the school to speak to and um, so I thank you for all, all where you and the Dominican Sisters have been very welcoming. And each of the sisters has kind of met on different journeys and different spaces. <coughs> Margaret was the first superior, of course, the first mother reading role that took me in hand and told me not to make such a fuss about money when I was saying something was going down the drain. <laughs> and then Margaret, Mar that was Margaret Kelly, yeah. then Margaret Wall, and myself, we spent time in. Woodstock together, and then Cynthia in South Bay rescued us once. I think the car wasn't planted, do you remember? Yeah. So lots of different stories, and now this comes to this. So congratulations, and thank you. Thank you for persevering. I think that's <laughs> persevering in life, you know. You can't just get to 100 and you know, try hard, you know. So well done. And there are a few little problems. They're, they're, they're trying hard to get there. They're Andrea. <laughs> <laughs> Just a few steps to get there. Thanks, Maria. Thank you. Thank you, Paul. Thank you. I'm a little family back to my great family, Pavana. Would you like to give congratulations to your great aunt? <laughs> a few words. <laughs> much. If anybody else would like to have a, a little word or two, not a big homily, but just, <laughs> a, just a word of congratulation if you're okay. If anybody wants to say anything, you're very welcome. Otherwise, you'll hold your, you'll hold your wrist for a long time. Okay, so I think we're all right. Margaret Kelly wants to say something. Okay, I think we come to the end. So thank you all for being part of our Eucharistic celebration this morning. So we will now finish and we ask the Lord to continue to be with Marie and with all of us. So I was going to say stand, stay seated, and stay as you are. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, that your servants, gathered in your love and partaking of the one bread, may be of one heart in prompting each other in the pursuit of charity and good works, so that through a holy way of life they may always and everywhere be true witnesses to Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration is ended. Go now and glorify the Lord by your life. Thank you. 